Hey y'all, this is Spicy and Chocolate back with another video. So today I'm going to talk about my experience having hyperemesis with two of my fantasies. And boy, it was crazy. I was super, I was super sick. Like, I don't know every symptom of hyperemesis, but... My symptoms by being really sick when I was pregnant, I think it started off when I was three, two, one or three months pregnant. I was very sick. I hated the smell of everything. I hated the smell of water. I hated the smell of the air. I hated, I hated the smell of everything. I literally had to get in the tub and wash up real quick and get out because I had to stop myself from throwing up. I threw up from morning to night, morning to night. It Talk about morning sickness? No, that was months of sickness. From, from night to day, day to night. It, I was just very sick, throwing up. I lost a lot of weight. When I first got pregnant, I was like 185 pounds. And then once once I get sick two, one or three months, I get down to like, I say 120 because I was throwing up. I couldn't hold nothing down. I was in and out the hospital because I was dehydrated from throwing up. I was very weak. All I could do was lay on the couch or lay in the bed for days. I barely could do anything. Like it was so frustrating. I cried so much. I prayed to God that this sickness would go away. And it was just so frustrating. And I have other kids, but luckily their dad is in their life, and he helped me out a lot because I was so sick. I couldn't do nothing, barely do nothing for myself, just throwing up literally all day. And it took me to have four or five different medicines to get to the right medicine that helped me stop throwing up. It was it was super, it was horrible. It was like a nightmare. I cried so much. Everything stink to me. I couldn't eat nothing. It was frustrating. And even light, even light, when I, I couldn't even go outside, the light would bother me too. And it seemed like it would make me more sick. The heat would make me sick and stuff. I don't I don't know why oh, women God. I don't know why women get so sick nowadays versus back in the day. Like my mother and my aunties, when they was pregnant, they didn't get sick as I did or nowadays it seems like women is getting more sick. I don't know if this if they put something in the food or not, but I was super sick. I was crying, couldn't do nothing for myself. Um, remember, sickness was from morning to night. I had to stop working at my job because I was so sick. And jobs don't understand. They just think you're just sick a certain amount of times. I was sick for months. And I couldn't do that. I just had to quit my job. I lost money. But luckily, I have help from my significant other. Because I don't know what I would do. I probably... I probably would have had to move in with my mother or something because I couldn't afford to just pay bills on my own. Luckily, he just picked up all everything I couldn't do. He picked it up, and but it was so crazy. I couldn't do nothing. I literally had to quit my job because I was so sick. And what else? What else? It's just throwing up for months at a time. Then once I got the right medicine, I started feeling better and stuff. And then eventually I got my strength back. And I started doing stuff for myself towards the end of my pregnancy. But this was my second pregnancy. This, I experienced this with two of my pregnancies. I had three pregnancies, but two of my pregnancies, I was very, very sick. And I couldn't understand why. They, 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 doctors couldn't tell me why. I was just very sick. So if you... if if you got, if any of you pregnant women get very sick, I advise y'all to ask for help. 
if y'all need help from a family member or anything. I was so sick. I just, I had my dude and he was helping me, but I, I should have just asked for more help. Like I could have asked my mother, but I just, I was just like, okay, we can, we can handle it. But I was very sick. I, a woman, you need another woman to help you. Like your significant other, like he was helping me, but I still needed another woman to help me more, basically around the house with the cleaning and stuff. Certain stuff men don't do, then men get frustrated. Men get frustrated if they just have the kids all day and the mother not a, can't really do nothing for you. You could have had someone else help you, but that was my experience with having hyperemesis. Everything stink to me. I had to get a diff, a nine-scented dishwashing liquid, nine-scented garbage bags. Like, everything literally stink to me. <laughs> everything. And it was horrible, but I don't... I. Like, I don't regret it because I know I was sick. I was bringing a life into this world. And I'm happy that my babies are here. So, if I had to, I'd go through it all again. But I don't want to go through it. But I would because I know I bring my babies into the world. And that's my experience with having hyperemesis. It's a rare pregnancy disease. And you're sick for months and months at a time. And sometimes your whole pregnancy, you might be sick. And some women get abortions just because they're so sick and they can't handle it. But all the women that's sick out there, while you're pregnant and stuff, you can do it, you can stick through it, you can, you can stick with it, just do it and try your hardest to get through it. You are better do it because once it's over, it's over, you're doing it for a cause. Like you're bringing a whole life into this world. So I don't recommend getting an abortion or not. Or nothing. Just just keep the baby and just stick through it and have somebody to support you. And have somebody to talk to or talk to somebody about it. And that's my experience when happen when happened. Hyperemesis while I was pregnant. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave drop comments below if you want to know anything else. And I'll be back with another YouTube. I'll be back with another video.